Hello everyone. I have a wonderful meditation for you today. I hope that you like this. This is for the days when you feel really emotionally chaotic or that you're trying to get rid of the emotion or the drama. Maybe there's a lot of drama, but um, as you're going to see later in the co-mind report, this is a very essential skill or technique that you can use on days like this. And it's called channeling your emotions. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get started into our meditation. I chose a nice serene beach view today. So get into your position and this could be sitting, lying down, even driving to work, but just make sure that you're not too comfortable. And in order to make this meditation work, we have to be willing to experience each emotion as it comes, even if the emotional energy isn't yours. We can periodically be taking on other people's emotions and that's okay as long as we're doing this process that we'll talk about here in a second. We need to start relaxing and to do this is to do a quick scan from the top of your head slowly towards the bottom of your feet, moving very slowly. And some people call this a progressive relaxation, but we're just scanning for tension because this tension is the indicator of emotions that you are experiencing. And the tighter the tension, the higher the probability that you've been holding on to this emotional energy for quite some time. And the longer that you hold on to this energy, the more your body will habituate into that chronic tension, which can be disastrous for your health. So anyway, let us just be willing to experience the emotions. And in order to do so, you're going to have to recognize that emotion exists. And we're going to notice that by the tension in the body. So today, if you're willing to take frequent breaks, very, they don't have to be long breaks, just short breaks to look within, check in with yourself and see where the tension is. You don't even have to apply a name to these emotions. A lot of this emotional drama, a lot of this emotional chaos will actually be mm, undescribable, unnameable. Maybe you, you know, what's paradoxical is that you're trying to apply a name to the emotional energy, which just makes you tense up more. So let's just experience the emotions today. And I'm going to show you a technique on how to capture that energy before it's wasted. And then you can use it for achievement. You can use it for if the universe is pushing you into a yang type of day. You can use that energy. Okay. I want you to imagine just being able to push the energy to a place somewhere on your body, except we got to be careful here. We're not going to use the word push. We're going to focus the energy on a particular place in your body. The energy follows your attention. So therefore, all you have to do is move your attention around your body 
and I like to imagine up the spine, so I start at the base of the spine, and I work very slowly initially, very slowly up the spine, slow enough to where I can actually feel the energy following my attention. As you get better at this, you can start to speed this process up, but initially it's going to be very slow. So I start at the base of the spine and work slowly up the spine, through the back, between the shoulder blades, up into the neck, up to the top of the head, and then I continue the attention towards the front of the skull, down between the eyes, the nose, the chin, the throat, basically down the front side of my body, down my chest, the stomach, and then all the way down to the the first chakra all the way down to the base and then we just complete the loop it's one big loop that we're doing then we go back to the bottom the base of the spine and, and then up the back and I'll probably going be going too fast at this point but up the spine to the head down the front of the face, down the front of the body, all the way down to the base. And you just complete this loop on your own. Spend some time, as I'm talking, just doing your own loop up the back, down the front, and around that base chakra. Now, as you're doing this, if you can, start to imagine maybe a typical emotion or a very strong emotion that is plaguing you or that might affect you periodically. The easy one to feel in terms of chaos is anger. Anger kind of feels like... Um, I don't know, ping pong balls scattered all over your body, pinging everywhere inside your body. And as you do this cycle up the back, down the front, channeling this energy to the meridian pathway, this chaotic anger, this chaotic energy becomes organized. In other words, this meditation is helping you capture the free energy that's inside of you. Instead of lashing out or trying to distract yourself from the anger, we're going to use the emotional energy for our own good. We call this the human battery. Once the chaos is all channeled onto the meridian, we can keep it there in our store center, in our bodily battery. And then once it's organized, it's very easy to imagine what it is I need to be doing right now. So whereas before, the emotional chaos has taken me away from my achieving away from my tasks and has made me feel so I want you to take a break when you feel that take a, it doesn't have to be very long it could just be 30 seconds or so and do this and channel the energy but you have to first feel the emotion feel that it's there and then begin to shift your attention onto your spine up the back, up the top of the head, down the front, and then back around underneath the first chakra at the
the base of the spine. And then just keep going around the body until the energy is ordered. Order out of chaos. And once it's stored in your heart center, now you can apply this energy any way that you wish. Ideally, it'll be for achieving something that's valid towards your life mission that you need to get done today. Or it's about helping others, maybe applying that energy however you would like, but increasing the karmic benefit by putting some value into other people's lives somehow. If you would like to continue this meditation, then simply pause the video. But for the rest of us, we're going to proceed towards the Project Comind Report for July 24th, 2018 and realize that if you're listening to this meditation at a much later date, there's going to be a more current Comind report for you. So let's start to count back up out of this meditation. We're slowly going to come back to the room here. How did you like that meditation? I love when I can remember to first of all feel the emotion and then later encapsulate and, 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 and capture this free energy instead of wasting it away or, or wishing it away or trying to distract myself with drugs or alcohol or uh, talking to someone or getting on social media, some sort of distraction. Instead of that, capture the energy and now I can use that energy for something more productive later. All right, so July 24th, 2018, would you like to know how we derived the need for the emotional battery meditation? Let's do it after this. I am Chris McCleary <laughs> and I got this back on. I didn't set this up yet, but um, we're going to start with the numerology. Co-mind member is to look for the biggest influence and for the numerology today, July 24th, today has the potential to bring a lot of drama your way. That's partly the reason we did this. Next, let's look at the astrology. There is quite a bit going on in the astrology today. And, uh, and it's kind of neat because we're going to um, see how relevant it is to the dream bot here in a second. But we're looking at the moon is almost conjunct with Saturn. So Saturn conjunct moon, that's what the uh, picture profile looks like on Instagram and Facebook and that's kind of what we built the model off of but we've got some other aspects here with Venus oppose Neptune which can bring some some difficulty in relationships kind of some um, I don't know emotional um, vulnerability if you will like am I doing something wrong um, and then you know some people see this moon with the Saturn and by the way, both of these are close to the uh, Sagittarius Capricorn. In fact, uh, the moon will go into Sagittarius, I mean Capricorn, a little bit later. But it's it's a it's not so much just galloping on a flat surface where, where Sagittarius was, but now in Capricorn, <clears throat> much more practical and just getting everything done and task oriented. So that's why we have this important concept of not letting the emotions from these other places and you know I can I can point out some more emotional sources but um, but suffice it to say we have a lot of energy to get up and go and do and get stuff done but we have there are some aspects that are dragging us back 
keeping us from doing those things. So here's the DreamBot run. And in the dreams, stadium is number one. And, you know, we, we connected those astrological um, aspects to make it feel like we're in a stadium, that everyone's looking at us, everyone's analyzing us and judging us, which can produce a lot of emotions. So instead of avoiding, that's what we're going to typically try to do, as if you're a normal human being, you're going to want to try to ignore that emotion, pretend it doesn't exist, and we're not going to do that. We're going to allow that emotion to be there. We're going to become conscious of it. Maybe close your eyes for a few seconds, a few moments, and organize that energy on the meridian pathway into your battery. And then, boom, for the rest of this run in these red arrows, it is a very strong yang day. So there's a lot of energy to get out there and do. But you but you got to be aware that these emotions are might be weighing you down and distracting you and that's the key emotions are largely unconscious so don't let them uh try to just sneakily stay in your aura okay if they're there then use them with the meditation that we just talked about okay red arrows just being everywhere ultimately wild and focus Focus is something that we worked on yesterday, but uh, anyway, that's about a wrap for today. If you like this video, if you'd like to get more meditations and appropriate meditations for the collective influence, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then if you'd like to get some picture updates of the CoMind reports and quick updates, we have them at National Dream Center. Dot com. We have them on Facebook, National Dream Center. We have them on Instagram, National Dream Center. And then YouTube is also National Dream Center. Also, the videos are posted on ProjectCoMind.com because this is Project Comind, trying to find the biggest influence with you. And it's brought to you by the National Dream Center, which is healing the collective psyche one mind at a time. You are beautiful. Have a great day.